there was a gender gap in our community. Working to close that gap within our STEM institutions, how a young woman right here in Central Florida is working to break down those barriers. Careers in STEM, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and math, are often more popular with males than females. So how can we change that? Spectrum News 13's Ashley Mills introduces us to one high school student pushing for that change. Neha Patil is an ambitious student. She starts off the day with some food for thought. The high school sophomore has a big day ahead. AP US History or AP Chem? Is there? Yeah, my first classes. So she packs carefully. Once she gets to school early, Patil surrounds herself with other girls, not only peers, but younger students she mentors. Uh -huh. Science, technology, engineering, and math is their passion, STEM. And there's even a club for it called Girls Recode. She started that here at Lake Highland Prep. There was a gender gap in our community that needed to be um, like fixed or needed to be bridged, I guess. And that's kind of. Patil teaches things like computer coding and tutors the elementary kids. They've even made their own apps, but it's more about creating a space. That's one of our goals, actually, to create a community of um, females in STEM. That's I. Dr. Sudesh Napal lectures at UCF, where most of her engineering students are male. There is this missing component, women component. Women are just 28% of the science and engineering workforce in America, says the National Girls Collaborative Project. A lack of role models. Dr. Powell challenges more working women to be mentors. A fun way to like reach aspiring engineers. People out there that can support you is absolutely essential and key. Like Patil. In Orlando, Ashley Mills, Spectrum News 13. And here's some information to give you more context. The National Bureau of Labor Statistics show that as of 2019, women are least involved in engineering and architecture careers, followed by computer and math careers. And women account for about 28% total of the nation's careers like those shown right there.